Hey everyone, it's Crucy here. Um, today we're going to go over, first off, my lineup that I will be running for the 250k qualifier tomorrow on Next Gen. And then I'll be going over what I think is the best 13-man lineup and also the best budget lineup. And I'll kind of go over some more cards that you could substitute if you don't quite have the same uh, lineup construction as I do. Um, so, first off, we'll start with my lineup here. Um, so, I'm going to be running uh, Penny Hardaway. Uh, James Harden, Andre Kurlenko, Giannis, David Robinson, and then off the bench, Gary Payton, Clay Thompson, Jonathan Isaac, Kevin Garnett, and Sabonis. Um, for me, I did try out John Wall. Um, I did not try out T-Mac. I have not tried Paul George. I did have Sean Marion. So I, I've had uh, some different guys. I did used to have Dolph, um, but I've kind of moved things around a lot recently. Um, like... I did have the normal Mystic version of James Harden, and then I upgraded to a uh, Mystic version with Hoff Interceptor. And now I think I've upgraded again to the NBA 75 version, but instead of Hoff Interceptor, he has Hoff uh, Unstrippable, Chase Down Artist, and Mismatch. Um, so for me, I think that's the best James Harden. I did upgrade also to the Masked version of Andre Kralinka with two extra Hoff badges instead of the Unmasked version. Um, my Giannis is a base, Gian uh, base NBA 75 Giannis. Um, my David Robinson has Hall of Fame defensive leader. And one other one, I can't remember what it is. Uh, Penny Hardaway is base, Gary Payton base, Clay base, Jonathan Isaac base, Kevin Garnett base, and Sabonis base. Um, so with that, I'm going to kind of go over some of these guys um, and why I like them. So Penny and Gary are my point guards. Uh, my point guards don't really do much for me offensively other than if they're open, they will shoot the ball. Um, personally, I think James Harden is by far my favorite offensive player I've used. Um, that is, I was someone who really loved uh, Amethyst Donovan Mitchell, um, but I finally feel like James Harden um, gives me more on offense than Donovan Mitchell did. Clay Thompson was also really close. Um, I just feel a little more comfortable with, with Harden than Thompson, so that's why I'm going to start Harden. And I like to start Penny Hardaway next to him um, just to give me kind of a tall, like, anti-mashing lineup is kind of my thought. Like, if someone else, you know, I'm going to run into starts Penny Hardaway, now I have a tall defender um, in my own Penny Hardaway that can take away if he wanted to, um, you know, just go to the hoop and, and mash. Um, so... That's why I use this tall starting lineup, and that's why you see I have uh, double bigs in both my starters and my bench. I really like having the extra height uh, to not give up easy points in the paint during quals. Um, and then on the bench, we see Jonathan Isaac. So I know that's one people are like, you know, why don't you have Paul George? Why don't you have Sean Marion? Why don't you have... Uh, I'm trying to think what other small forwards are out there. Those are kind of the two main ones. Um... And personally, I'm going with Jonathan Isaac because, kind of for two reasons. I really like his length. You know, he's, I think, 6'11", uh, which helps out a ton. And then two, he's a sapphire. And if you watch my other video, which will be linked at the end of this, about how I qualified the last time on current gen Xbox, I used a nine-man rotation to keep my overall lower. I thought about doing that this time around, but I realized if I use Jonathan Isaac instead of a pink diamond small forward, um, it lowers my overall by two, which is the same uh, amount that it would be lowered if I went with a nine man. So I figured Jonathan Isaac is a great defender. He'll be able to hit corner threes um, and he has great length. I think, you know, he makes the most sense for me to run at that three. He helps keep my overall a little bit lower and he's a great defender. I think he's, you know, on par with the top tier cards uh, in terms of playing defense. So that's, that's who I'm going with. That's who I feel the most comfortable with. Um, I am going to show now the best 13 man line lineup in my opinion. Um, so it looks pretty similar to mine, except, you know, you have the NBA 75, David Robinson, which I think gives you some, gives you some different badges you could try. I actually am comfortable with the flash one because I think the badges I added are what I would want added. Um, but also here has T-Mac and Clay, so it gives you... I think T-Mac uh, is going to play the best, possibly play the best defense out of these three if you badge him up to be that way. He also might be the best shooter out of the best three. Um, and I think if you pair him with John Wall, while this is really expensive, and I don't think it is worth the MT, 
um, which is part of the reason why I'm not running them. I think, you know, this might be the best combo. You can have a really good defender in Tracy McGrady if you badge him upright. And then you can have a good defender in John Wall who can run an offense. Um, so I think those two are great. If you don't like Penny Hardaway, I think your best point guard options are going to be Gary Payton and John Wall. Um, Steve Francis is also up there. <laughs> um, so I think those are all options. This also has um, Dolph Shays in here, who's a great power forward. I was considering moving my Kevin Garnett to center and keeping him at power forward and selling my Sabonis, but I think I like the size that Sabonis gives me uh, to protect against mashing, so that's why I'm going with KG and Sabonis, but uh, this gives you kind of the flexibility to do both. If you wanted to run a 13-man, would keep your overall higher, but uh, it does give you that added flexibility. This also has Paul George, who I think would fit really nicely uh, with this lineup as another scoring option and a great defender. Um, you could also swap him and AK. If you wanted to, since AK might be a better rebounder to help with the smaller lineup here. Um, and then these last three, you know, I have a defensive point guard in Gary Payton, a really big center in Sabonis, and if you are getting mashed, and then um, Clay Thompson. But, you know, some of this stuff's interchangeable. I think these are kind of the three shooting guards. If maybe you want someone who's a, maybe the best defensive shooting guard, you might look at Jalen Brown. Um, so that's an option. You know, small forwards, other ones that are, are going to be really good. Um, defensively, you know, you have Sean Marion. Uh, if you want more offense, you could look at Mello. You could look at KD. They'll give you more offense than AK. Um, and still decent defense. Not quite the level of defense that AK is going to give you. Also, Paul Stylus is a great option. Um, you know, that could fit in this lineup somewhere. So some of this, you know, is preference. If you want to, Especially if you want to play a little smaller, you might play Mello at the four. Or... Um, KD at the four instead of Dolph, and, and maybe that gives you a little bit, a little bit more flexibility. Um, or maybe you have them in your, in your back three lineup. But I think these are kind of like the top tier cards you can have. And same with those other ones mentioned. You know, Melo, KD, uh, Steve Francis is up there. Even Jaw is up there. Um, Jalen Brown. Like I said, I already said Melo, KD, um, Marcus Saul. You can make the argument for. Um, think that basically includes all of them and so now i'm going to go into kind of some budget options um so i do have Jalen brown in this one since his price has fallen a good bit and this is not the signature series one because i think if you're on a budget you're you're fine with this one the signature series one does give you um hoff i think it's posterizer which is which is a good badge uh so i think you know if you want to pay a little more and get it that's nice but if not it, it shouldn't make too big of a difference especially if you're on current gen um but here i kind of Built some lineups, you know, this one, you have John Morant to run your offense, Jalen Brown, Mikhail Bridges, Jonathan Isaac. They're all uh, great defenders. Miles Turner gives you a, a good pop option um, and rim protection uh, as as your center. Off the bench, Marcus Smart, great uh, budget point guard. I also put in DeJounte Murray back here. I probably should have put in the Mystic one instead of the uh, Moments one, but... They give about the they give basically the same thing. They're basically the same card, but the Mystic one does have Hoff or General, so that might be a, a better tall defensive point guard to use in case you know you see a Penny Hardaway. Um, the other uh, point guard you know that could fit with here is Steve Francis. You might prefer him over Jaw or him over Marcus Smart. So those are options. I think Eddie Jones, great budget shooting guard. Kelly Oubre as well gives you a really tall option at shooting guard and if you badge him up defensively he's a really good uh, defender you could also have Matisse Thibel in here that's someone I, I left out of this lineup that definitely could fit in uh, he's a great defender at the two the power forward small forward at the budget level is great there's a ton of guys that can play Rocco can play um let me go ahead and evo these guys because I, I would suggest you have them evoed Nick Batum great budget option Mikhail Bridge Jonathan Isaac uh, if you need a little bit more offense than maybe some of these guys give you, you could look at uh, Jamal Mashburn. Gives you a little bit more on the offensive end at the budget level. Brandon Ingram also does, but I think his defense lacks uh, a good bit, so you, you might not want to run him. Um, another shooting guard, if you need more offense for, than Jalen Brown, Eddie Jones, or at least more shooting. Uh, Eddie Jones is a great shooter and a good defender, so I, I think he's great. And Jalen Brown's a great defender. And a solid shooter, but you could look at like Draz and Petrovic if you're struggling to shoot with these guys. 
Um, he's pretty cheap diamond and he's got Hall of Fame limitless spot up. So, I mean, he's a great option as well. Backup centers. I use I put in Wang Zhiji and Dino Raja. I think they're the best backup center options that we have right now. Or, or budget center options outside of Miles Turner. Uh, Wang Zhiji's got a great look. Great release, um, and he's really tall, and he has pretty good speed. And I mean, what more do you want? He comes with silver uh, limitless threes. You can add a lot of the good badges. He comes with silver quick first step, I believe, and he comes with bullet passer. So he comes basically badged out. I mean, you can add some stuff to make to improve him a decent amount, but you know, he's a great budget option. Dino Raja gives you a little bit less shooting. He should still be able to hit some jumpers if you put, you know. Uh, a plus three three-pointer on him and you have a coach that boosts his three-pointer so i think kind of in general these are some of the best budget cards you could run i do prefer jonathan isaac at the three but I, there were so many of these guys i felt like i had to get all four of them in and jonathan isaac made the most sense at the four with this lineup if you do have a guy like Melo, you know i would definitely think you, you know put him in there if you do have kg i would think put him in there if you have paul silas get him in there um, but these are some guys that you know you if you don't have the MT to have the best team ready for tomorrow these are some guys you could consider uh, running and could definitely help you out I don't think you need to run a full 13 man lineup like I showed here or like I showed here I, I, I basically put the 13 in um, so that you could see a, a few more cards and maybe you know some different ideas on how you can make your lineup more versatile because I think that's one thing that's really important with the qualifier and the way it's set up is you have to win every game and you know you want to have kind of a lower overall team if possible to kind of give you yourself um you know maybe easier matchups and maybe uh, a little bit more points because you'll earn more mt in the game um but you also want to have your lineup be really versatile um so if you're on a budget level and you're using some of these lower tier cards, maybe you do add in a couple extra guys to help with versatility. Because um, you want to be able, you want to be able to, you know, score with your point guard, possibly. But you also want to be able to defend Penny Hardaway. So if you go in there with two short point guards who can't um, defend very well, you know, say you have Steph and Steve Francis or something, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna be giving up a lot of twos to someone who has Penny Hardaway, most likely. Um, so I think, you know, you want to have centers that can guard, you know, the small ball centers like Dolph and George Mikan, but you also want to have a big center, uh, which Miles Turner kind of fits this category. Dino Raja definitely does and Wang Zhiji does. You want to have a big center that can go guard Sabonis. Um, so that's why you see, like, with my lineup, I have guys who can, you know, I can adjust this so I can basically play a lot of different styles you know i can have Giannis and david robinson i could have kg and sabonis i could have even isaac at the four to give me a little more mobility uh even though i think Giannis is a better defender kg's also better defender but isaac has the quickest release maybe i really need someone who can pop um at that like for whatever reason and he has to be a quick shot with the way they're playing defense i'm not sure but i would be able to put him there uh, i could put in kg and Giannis together if i want to have you know really uh, versatile defensive lineup against say like someone who's running Dolph at the center and I don't need a big center like Sab Sabonis or David Robinson um, and that's why you know I have a defensive point guard and I have a tall point guard I don't really have a scoring point guard but that's because I have the two guys I'm most comfortable scoring with in Harden and Clay Thompson right now um, I just think one thing with qualifiers you want to have your lineup be really versatile um, but I just hope that this video helps you out, gives you some ideas of, you know, how you can construct your lineup that best fits you, but also uh, can can best be prepared to take on all the available cards that are out there um, in different lineup constructions that other people may have. So I hope this video helps you out. And I wish you all the best in tomorrow's qualifier. I will be streaming it on Twitch if you want to drop in if you're not playing. Um, but again, this is the lineup I'm running. This lineup here uh, is the lineup that I think would be the best 13-man option that I would take in if I was going to take in 13-man option and I had unlimited MT. And then this lineup is, I think, a really good budget lineup um, that also includes some, some extra cards for versatility and, and just to get get uh 
get some people out there. So I hope I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I wish you all the best if you're playing tomorrow. Let me know, you know, maybe some people that you're thinking of running that I didn't cover if I missed anyone. Um, and I hope uh, you all have a great day and I will see y'all soon.